this language translator will convert this high level language that is general english to machine understandable languages what do you mean by assembly level languages that is in the form of mnemonics it uses some symbols and words to represent the program compiler is a software or a language translator it will transfer the high level language to low level language welcome back to one and all myself vasanta lecturer in computer science vidyashram pri university college temple of excellence mysore today we want to start with the second session of software concept chapter whereas in the previous session already you have come to know regarding the introduction of software then types of software that is application software system software introduction to computer languages under that machine level languages that is all the instructions are written in the format of zeros and ones then assembly level languages here instructions are written by using mnemonics then high level languages in this instructions are written in high level languages that is in general english format whereas on today's class you will come to know regarding the language translator which are the language translator why we required language translator then linker loader then utility software then what do you mean by operating system why we required this operating system as well as the functionalities of operating system regarding that you will come to know on today session first we will discuss about language translator why we required language translator first of all language translator helps to convert from one level language to another level languages because already i told you in the previous session computer can able to understand only the binary format that is in the format of zeros and ones or i can say say machine understandable language that means we cannot able to write all the instruction all the data all the functionalities in binary format for the sake what we will do we will using this language translator we are going to write the statements as usual in general english only this language translator will convert this high level language that is general english to machine understandable languages then when you come on language translator the language translator translates the high level language to low level language here i can say low level language machine level language or in the format of zeros and ones there are three types of translator one is compiler interpreter and one more is assembler when we come on types of translator the first one assembler compiler and one more is interpreter then what do you mean by this assembler whereas this assembler helps to transfer the assembly level languages to machine understandable languages assembler will converts assembly level languages to here assembly level language are converting into low level languages by assembler whereas assembler assembler converts assembly level language to low level languages whereas compiler is a software it's a language translator it translates high level languages whereas in assembly level languages all the instructions are written in the format of mnemonics that is in the format of some symbols and words format we will write the instructions whereas in compiler it transfers high level languages it transfers high level languages the compiler will transfer the high level language to low level languages but when you come on interpreter in interpreter also it translates high level language to low level language or machine level languages the main difference between compiler and interpreter is the compiler will take the entire program at a time and it will convert that into machine understandable language whereas here in interpreter it will take only the first line in the program it converts that into machine level languages then later on it will take the second line then once again it will converts line by line the interpreter will converts high level language to low level language but when you come on compiler and interpreter for the compiler the time consumption will be very less 
because it takes the entire program at a time and then it will convert the entire program at a time into machine understandable language. Whereas here, each and every line, one by one, it has to process. First, it will take the data, only one line it will take. It will transfer the data to the main memory, converts, and then once again it will take the second line, converts, one by one it has to perform. That's why here, in interpreter, the time consumption will be more here. Next, when we come on assembler, already I told you, assembler helps to transfer assembly level languages. What do you mean by assembly level languages? That is in the format of mnemonics. It uses some symbols and words to represent the program. For example, I want to perform addition of two numbers. On that time fast, what I will do? Move A, add B, store C. Like that here, in the format of mnemonics, whatever data we are written, that will converted by this assembler. Here, mainly, here the codes which are written by using assembly level languages, that can be called as source program. After converting, that can be called as machine code or object source code and then object code. Now, assembler is a system software which translates an assembly language program into its machine languages. It takes the data that is which are written in assembly format in that especially in assembly level languages and it will convert that into machine code. Whereas it recognizes the mnemonics. Already I told you, here if I am going to write the data or instructions, programs by using some symbols and some words then it can be called as mnemonics language. Whereas it recognizes the mnemonics used in the assembly level languages and substitute the required machine code for each instructions. Automatically it will take the instructions and it will convert that into machine understandable format. For example, turbo assembler, Microsoft macro assembler are the example for assembly level language or I can say it as for assembler. Next, we will move on compiler. Already I told you, compiler is a software or a language translator. It will transfer the high level language to low level language or I can say in the format of machine understandable languages. But in compiler, it will take the entire program at a time and it will transfer that into the memory and then we are going to get the result. That means it will take the entire program at a time, converts that into machine understandable format. Like that, the process will take place. And this compiler is not suitable for testing stages. But when the common compiler is a system software that it translates high level languages. This high level languages can be called as source code into machine level languages machine level languages that is nothing but object code machine understandable language can be called as your object code it reads the whole program and translates the entire program at once into a series of machine level language instructions take the entire program converts that into machine understandable format example c c++ are the Example for compiler, whereas when you type the program in turbo, especially C or C++, on that time we are using compiler. The compiler will take the entire program at a time and it will convert that into machine understandable format. Next we will move on to interpreter. Already I told you the difference between compiler and interpreter. Compiler will take the entire program, whereas interpreter also converts this high level language to low level language but line by line. An interpreter reads once a statement of a high level language program at a time and translates it into machine level language and execute immediately. Only one line it will take. Immediately if you want to execute that in binary format. After completing that then it will take the second line. It continues to read and translate and execute the statement one by one until it reaches end of the program. Consider in the program we have for example around 10 lines. First line it will take, converts that into machine understandable language. 
Then if we'll take the second line, convert that into machine level language. Like that, all the statements, all the line will converting here in interpreter. Therefore, it is slower than compiler. Because already I told you, for example, if I want to prepare any food for 10 members, then in compiler, what we will do, we're going to keep one bowl. On that bowl for all the 10 members, we'll prepare the food at a time. Whereas in interpreter, the same example. First, I will prepare the food only for one person. After preparing the food for only one person, then I will prepare the same food for another person. Obviously, time consumption is more here. But when you come on testing stages, this interpreter is very much suitable. Whereas compiler is not suitable for testing stages. Next, we will move on linker and loader. What is the use of this linker as well as loader? Already I told you the program can be divided into sub-programs or modules. The technique can be called as modularity technique. Consider we have one program, that program will divide into sub-programs. Then here it will execute the sub-functions, whatever functions we have that it will execute. Afterwards, once again it has to generate to the result to the main program that has to be connected in a systematic manner that can be performed by this linker. Linker is a software. What it will do? It will connect all the modules. The small sub-programs can be called as modules. It connects the modules together on the systematic order. Whereas source program written in high level languages may contain number of modules or I can say it as segments. To execute properly, the models have to be linked properly. After, at the end, I want to get the result. This model has to be connected in a systematic manner, then only I can get the correct output. Whereas, it, that operation, the connection of this models can be performed by this linker. So that execution of the program is sequential by that. In systematic manner, in sequential format, we can able to get the result. This operation is performed by the software called it as linker. Only thing linker will connect the modules together in a systematic manner. Next, a linker is a system software that links or I can say it as combines smaller program to form a single main program. Small function into main function, it will connect together. Once an execution of program is generated, someone will have to load the program into the main memory of the computer so that it can be executed. After performing the task, it has to generate or it has to load that program to the main program that can be performed by this loader. Whereas this operation is performed by the software called as loader. Mainly, it will load the program to the main memory. Whereas linker link the subprograms together in a systematic manner. Whereas loader will load this program to the main memory for the processing purpose. Next, we have utility software. What exactly this utility software? The utility software are those helpful program that assist the computer by performing helpful functions. Some supporting functions it will perform like backing up of disk, scanning, cleaning, virus, etc. These are the major functions performed by this utility software. Whereas utility software is mainly helpful to assist the computer. Utility software is generally called as application oriented ready-made system program. Without this also, what happens? For example, if the virus is came to the system, then it is not properly scanned, then it is very difficult to manage. That means here it will mainly manage the virus, how to clean the virus, then how to maintain the backup. Regarding that, it contains the information. Some of the important utility software is text editor, backup utility, disk defragmenter, antivirus software. Then how you come to know that your system is attacked by virus? On that time, your system will not support in systematic way for you. And unwanted messages you may going to get. 
By that we can say that the system is not working properly. It is attacked by virus. How to clear that virus by using antivirus? That is done by this utility software. Next we will move on operating system. Whereas operating system provides good environment to the user. It acts like a mediator between user and computer. An operating system is a set of programs which acts as an interface between the user and the computer. It means that it acts like a mediator between user and computer. Whereas this operating system provides good environment. How the user want on that way it will provide the environment to the user here. The main system software in the operating system which starts up the computer and controls its operations. Mainly it will control the overall operations like memory management, device management, process management, file management. All the works are done by this operating system. And by this operating system, the user can interact with the computer easily. The operating system manages the resources like memory and all it manages and tries to optimize the performance of the system. Mainly it will manage all the resources where it may be devices or memory anything. All those things are managed by this operating system. The user communicate. The user communicate with the computer through operating system commands and program instructions. Usually the user can interact with the computer with this operating system only. And here it mainly the instructions are in the format of programs here. Next we will come on operating system under that what are the advantages which are the types of operating system. Whereas operating system play an important role, important role to manage the computer in loading programs. Here whatever data, whatever instructions we have or whatever modules we have that has to be loaded to the computer main memory. That operation is also done by this operating system and from disk into memory. From the disk, how the data are transferring to the memory. Then playing messages, here displaying the messages, whichever unwanted messages we want, that also it will display. Sometime necessary messages also it will display. Then translating programs and in outputting the result. When we come on some examples of operating systems like Unix, Linux, MS-DOS, Microsoft, Windows such as Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Android, Mac operating system are the sum of the example for this operating system. When we come on operating system, there you will study regarding which are the major functionalities of operating system. Mainly it provides the good environment to the user. Whereas in the next class, you will come to know regarding the operating system functionalities like it may be memory management, how much memory is there, how to allocate the memory, how to deallocate the memory, for which job the memory has to be allocated like memory management, device management that is which are the hardware component, which are the devices we have, for which device we have to give higher priority that also done by this operating system. File management, memory management, device management, file management, all type of operations in the operating system, which are the operations are performing, what are the major functionalities of operating system that you will come to know in the next session. Thank you for all of you.